Y'all, we got a lot of stuff to get done today and we are harvesting all kinds of stuff. Come on with me. Hello and welcome to Kim's Cozy Corner. I am Kim and it is early October. It's after the storm. It's been a week since I did any harvesting. Actually, it's been almost two weeks on some things. And so we are gonna do some harvesting today. Um, we might even do a little bit of cleaning up today in this video, but all day long, we are gonna work on getting the yard and the garden in shape from the storm. But this video is going to just be focused on the garden and harvesting from the garden. Ugh, spider web. Ugh. All right. So this will be my first pepper harvest since the storm. And peppers actually are doing really, really well. They enjoyed that nice, deep, heavy rain that we got a couple of weeks ago and it rained for about, I don't know, about four days or something like that. And uh, the peppers were very happy. The tomatoes were not. But we're gonna pick anything that's either dead and dying just so it doesn't die on the vine or if it's ready to be harvested. Still quite a few green ones on here, but I'm not picking the green ones today. Just what's ripe. So a little baby bell and a not a pino. And that's all I got off of this green stalk in the back here. But this green stalk, y'all, y'all see all this nice color here. Two weeks apparently was the right amount of time to let this color really come in. So this is the pepper that split open from the rain. I've never seen that happen before, but Yellow monster, looking good. Y'all, that's a perfect Costa Rica right there. Perfect Costa Rica. And these are sweet peppers. So this is a cubanel right here. It's got a little hole in it. That might not be any good, but we'll take it inside and look at it. And I, next year, y'all, next year, I'm gonna show you the marker that I should have used so that these names wouldn't have faded off. Um, I didn't realize I didn't have the right marker until it was too late and stuff was already out here. But before we get ready next year to do this, I'll make sure I share it with you so you can get the right marker as well so that the names last all season and that they don't fade because of the weather. But these are California Wonders right here. They're tiny. California Wonders, they're sweet peppers. Everything here is a sweet pepper. And my green stalks, y'all look at the size of that. That's gonna be nice when it's ready. I still got blooms. Now, I don't think these blooms are gonna do anything for me in the near future because we're gonna get down in the 40s here in a couple of days. So I don't know if we're gonna get many more off of here, but we are gonna harvest as long as we can. So these are either yellow or orange yummy snack size peppers. These are from 10 year old seeds that we harvested from my neighbor's garden 10 years ago. And they're super sweet y'all, they taste so good. Another Cubanel. California Wonder. Another yellow yummy. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it because it's almost ripe. Another Costa Rica is starting to blush a little bit on there. We're gonna go ahead and pick that one. There's a blushing Joe Parker. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one too. Ugh. Nope, that's no good. Yeah, rain got inside that. That's nasty. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right, but there is a good Joe Parker right there. All right, these are my Pippin Golden Honey. They start off purple. 
And then you see all the different colors of a Pippin golden honey? All of these different colors. The longer you leave them on, the more sweet they become. And I think I've been all the way around. I'm gonna go grab a couple more sweet peppers that I have throughout the garden, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I didn't find any more sweet peppers, so this is it from the sweet pepper harvest today. But we're gonna move over and we're gonna pick those hot peppers as well. Now, I intentionally didn't mix my hot peppers or spicy peppers with my sweet peppers. I did that on purpose. Uh, I didn't wanna accidentally cross them so that my family would get what they thought was a sweet pepper and then their mouth would be on fire. So I intentionally didn't put them close to each other. Now these are supposed to be poblanos. They're supposed to be chocolate poblanos though. So, hmm, that sure do look red to me, but there are two poblanos and no, poblanos are not super spicy, but I didn't want my family biting into them and then being surprised. These are three paprika peppers, three of them, and they're perfectly ripe and they're looking good. These are, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what these are. I think these are my, yeah, I don't know. I'll put it right up here. I'll have to look when I planted them what I put here, but I'll put it up here on the screen and I'll let you know what this is. But it is some type of mildly spiced pepper. I still have a whole lot of serranos over here. They're not red yet. I'm gonna leave them on there. Maybe we can get them to turn red. Here's a jalapeno, uh, a red jalapeno, which I did that intentionally because they're for hot sauce. So not many spicy peppers, but just a handful. We will get those put away and uh, so that they're ready to make some nice hot sauce in the future. So we're gonna move over and keep harvesting. I believe I'll go ahead and do the tomatoes next. There's only a handful of those out here. I mean, I'm sure you can see all of the dead tomatoes. I mean, the tomatoes are toast. I think this is really it. I mean, I might even cut some of those back today just to go ahead and get rid of them. But yeah, the tomatoes are pretty much done. But let's harvest anything that's decent, that's red. And um, the rest of these, we're probably gonna just call it quits for the year outside. Ugh, that's nasty. Yep, that one split open from the storm and I didn't pick it last week. There's just a few, these are all paste tomatoes right here. There's not many. This time of year, I find the tomatoes get tough. They're not even good eating at this time. So this, like I said, will probably be the last or not because those look good. Okay, there'll be a few that get left behind today, but most of these are done. I see a few Korean longs that look pretty good over here as well. So we'll leave a few behind that look healthy. Other than that, y'all, we're practically done. I find that the tomatoes start getting like a tough skin on them when we get late in the year like this, or their skins are just so damaged, they look horrible. Like this one right here. It looks like it has disease. It's all damaged and nasty looking. I'm gonna just lay that down there and hopefully I'll get a volunteer plant next year. But yeah, this time of year, they don't look too hot and the skins are so messed up and so tough. The tomatoes in this area, this is where I had all of my big, I don't know, that one might not be any good either. All of the big slicers are in this area right here. And it looks like I'm about done over here too. I got one, maybe two good ones today. Over here are what I call specialty tomatoes. Yeah, some of these rotted on the vine from all the rain last week. 
Let's just let those drop down. It's a nice, what is this, Kellogg's breakfast? There's some nice greenery up here and then there's a whole bunch of dead stuff too, but that's it, just one tomato over here. Y'all, I'm kind of sad. Tomato season's probably over. It's probably over for us. So some of the tomatoes fell to the ground and the ones on the ground, y'all, I'm gonna leave on the ground. They are not looking too hot. I mean, the ones that are on the vine aren't looking too hot either, so I think we're done. The beans are done back here. The one or two up here, they're hard, tough. Oh, those two look pretty good. I'll, I'll pick those two. Believe it or not, there's still blooms on these and little baby ones. I don't know, maybe they're done, maybe they're not. Most of these are looking tough. I haven't picked in two weeks. Couldn't get out here because of the storm. And then it was just too nasty and mushy and I just didn't come out here. So I thought we were done, but y'all there are blooms over here too. Y'all it's a beautiful day out here. The wind's blowing, it feels good. I think we're gonna get up to right around 80 degrees today for an October 4th, what is today? October 5th, it's gonna get up to 80 degrees today in Southwest Ohio zone 6B. I'll take that one tomato. So three green beans and a tomato. These are brandy yellow. They are tiny, tiny, but I'll take them. No spiders, no spiders. Now this is one tomato plant that just don't want to give up. And I am fine by that. Some nice looking tomatoes on here. I really don't think they're going to last much longer, but beautiful tomato right there. I even got a cucumber over here that's trying to grow. Now you waited six months too late to start, but if you grow great, I will take you. Yeah, this whole area behind me was supposed to be cucumbers. Last year it did amazing. This year the cucumber beetles got it and I got just enough for fresh eating, but not enough to do anything with. Yuck. Some bad spots on the outside from all of that wind and rain. But I think, I think the inside's okay. When that rain came in, y'all, I could smell my plants just like rotting on the vine. That's just how bad it was. Uh, to go two months with no rain and then just get slammed with rain for two straight days or three, four, actually it was four days, all day for three days. And then a fourth day we had off and on rain. So anyway, I believe I'm gonna be able to save this cabbage. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this one out. It's small, but I'm gonna get it out. And it looks good, actually. This one looks really, really good. It's just very, very small. This one looks horrible, but I believe I can rinse off this top part. And uh, I believe the inside of this one's okay. Like, I'm gonna go rinse it right now and I'm gonna show you, cause that's nasty. So I just wanted to show you after I rinsed them off, right? You see, it looks really good. Now I'll give it a good washing when I get inside, but that one looks really good. I picked up another one along the way. So three heads of cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and pick some okra over here. I got Miss Charlie over there picking carrots for me. We're gonna get all of the carrots out, all of them today. I only got a couple places where I have carrots just a couple places. And it looks like there's not much okra either. It's changing weather, the okra is pretty much done. So there's only two little heads of okra. I do have some blooms up here, but they don't have any time left with this cold weather coming in. Oh, there's one. 
but what mom does, she takes the okra, she washes it, she cleans it up, she freezes it, and then when she has enough for a batch, then she'll eat this slimy, nasty stuff. But I'll pick the couple, the couple that's out here for her, and we will just keep on the keeping on. I also found two onion that got left behind when I harvested all the onion. They're nice and hard, and look, they've already started drying up, so I can take these indoors. They're ready already to go inside. Okay, I got a head of purple cabbage as well. This will probably be the last year that I grow purple cabbage. My family just doesn't eat it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. It's even got little heads trying to grow beside it here. <laughs> but it's beautiful, we just don't eat it. So, one head of purple cabbage. Nice. Look at that, y'all. Look at that nice carrot right there. All right, I'm harvesting carrots in another area to kind of help Charlie out. There are two different kinds of carrots, but we are going to clean this bed up for good on carrots. We're going to call it the end of the season for carrots. All right, so I'm going to harvest carrots from here. All carrots are coming out today. And then we're going to go ahead and can them up. If they're too small, that's it. They're done for the year. We are done fooling with carrots at this point. This is one of the beds that will be replaced this year. Um, this bed has been in place for a while and it's time for it to come out. All right, there's some more carrots. I'm gonna get all of these carrots out. A long skinny one. I got one carrot in here that's so deep, I'm gonna have to struggle, but it's coming out. One way or the other, I'm gonna pull this grass up too while I'm at it. You know, I did harvest one um, eggplant I didn't show it to you, but I did harvest one. Man, this one's in there. What? Let me maybe use two hands to get this carrot out. Y'all, I ain't never had a carrot in here this deep. Oh. And I bet you it's not even a pretty carrot, but it don't want to come out. All right, this carrot's not getting the best of me, y'all. That ain't going to happen. I'm going to win this battle. There. Oh, look at the tap root on that thing. Y'all, that, that carrot was trying to go to China. Whew. Boy, that thing was in there deep. But I got you now. So this is the last carrot haul of the season. That's enough to can up a few. All right, let's pick something else. All right, there are the carrots. I went in and picked one more red cabbage. So we're gonna put the carrot or the cabbage over here with these carrots. So there's the cabbage, the carrots. And now I'm gonna harvest anything I can off of this green stalk vertical planter. There's another tomato. We got tomatoes in here. I got stuff just all mixed up today, y'all. I got a couple cucumbers, another tomato, green beans. These actually look really good. They're not too hard either. It's probably just enough beans to put into some vegetable soup or something like that, but we will get them anyway. You don't want to leave anything behind. Some nice beans. Look at this. Look at these beans. Really nice, nice beans. I'm going to have to put the beans somewhere else. <laughs> Try to keep everything separated, but I don't want everything on top of each other. And the beans still have blooms on them as well. Look at that. Those beans will not give up, and I'm happy for it. Now that broccoli gave up a long time ago. Those tomatoes are slightly blushing, but they don't look so hot. So we'll go ahead and get those picked. All right, I'm all the way around. Picked a couple more beans. All right, there's some more beans down here. 
cucumber that's almost too big. Almost waited too long on that one. Some really nice wax beans. I thought wax beans were done. Beautiful wax beans on here. I guess you can tell I grow a little bit of everything in my green stalk vertical planters. They will grow a little bit of everything. Look at these beans. Look at this, y'all. These beans look amazing. These are yellow wax beans. Y'all, they're perfect. Perfect. I do have a ton of cherry tomatoes in here. These are black cherry tomatoes. And y'all, we're about tired of cherry tomatoes, but I got black cherry tomatoes in here. Most of these cherry tomatoes are split open. I never came back and picked them after the storm because they were just all busted open and I just kind of left them where they were. It's a yellow tomato. All of the tomatoes in this container here are all dwarf tomatoes with the exception of these black cherry tomatoes, which I didn't mean to even put in here. I don't know how they got mixed up, but I like to grow dwarf tomatoes or bush style tomatoes. Yuck. In my green stalks. That way they don't get so long and out of control. That one smushed as well. All right, I'm not picking cherry tomatoes. There's more bad than good, so I'm gonna just leave them be. This one's blushing just a little bit, so I'm gonna take it. This is a bush steak tomato from Burpees. It always does really, really well in my green stalks, and they usually produce the longest in the green stalks, which that's probably why they're still producing. I think I'm all the way around. These are Roma, Roma 2 flat green beans, and they are gorgeous. All right, y'all, I think that's it. Not a whole bunch, but they look good, the few that I did get off of here. We will add that to that total quantity of beans for the day, and we will see just how many we got. All right, just a few more. I have some already got picked in another basket and I switched out. So beans are done over here. Um, I'm going to run over to the neighbors and try to pick a few things and then we're going to call it good for a harvest today. Let me give you a quick overview of my neighbor's garden. We haven't been over here in a very long time. Very, very long time. But I plant this garden for my neighbor, for them to enjoy and anything extra I get to enjoy. Look at all that celery over there. But we're at the end of the season. Most of the beds are already empty. See so if there's anything I can harvest. He's got peppers. Look at that. That's a thunderbolt. It's my favorite pepper. I am not gonna pick it. I got I picked plenty. Oh wow. That's the big ones you're talking about? Goodness, look at them big old tomatoes. Okay, this little bitty head, it ain't gonna get no bigger. It's been here all these months. I'll break this one out too. We might actually have enough for a meal in a minute. <laughs> yeah, these need to come out. They done been eaten all, actually, these look good. Oh, I broke that one. I didn't mean to do that. It don't make no sense all of a sudden they looking good. You think that rain did this? Gave me these perfect beans. Thought I was done. Look at that. That's a beautiful bean. Well, the vines over here ate up, but they're beautiful beans down here. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are beautiful. Okay, some of them are too big, but most of these are beautiful. Hiding on the bottom. Lord, Mama, this is a full meal right here I'm picking. These beans are perfect. The ones that's not too big. <laughs> Y'all, look at that cabbage growing right there. And all of this kale. There's some peppers. Now, that cabbage don't look too hot. But this is all beautiful kale. He's My neighbor's eating some lettuce up here. 
just harvest lettuce there. There's some lettuce here. That's looking good. But I'm going over to get some parsley. Yeah, I don't get over to my neighbor's garden that often. I just, y'all, I've been lazy. I just hadn't done it. But I got eggplants blooming over here. Eggplants are blooming. My neighbor, Miss Pam, done got most of these cleaned out. She got all the bad out. Dehydrate this parsley. And oregano, and I'm completely out of oregano. So I definitely need to grab this oregano here. Anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of this parsley right here. Look at that. It's so pretty. All right. So just parsley and oregano. I have no oregano. I think they got oregano growing somewhere over there too, in the ground. It comes back every year. Planters pretty much cleaned up for the year. So let's head back and look at everything that we harvested today. All right, y'all, that's the harvest for the day. It's October 5th, and I tried to clear out a lot of stuff. And we harvested a little bit of everything as my containers are falling over here. But we got herbs, peppers, tomatoes. Look at this basket of cabbage. We got carrots, green beans, and I got a ton of green beans, cucumbers. I got onions. I got eggplant, y'all. We got a lot. And so to the side of me here is a list of everything that I harvested today and the weight of everything that I harvested today. And so the harvests are getting smaller and we're getting some of the last of everything, y'all, but we are still eating good. So until next time, and I hope there will be a next time that you hang out with me, Kim, at Kim's Cozy Corner. Bye.